Welcome to our kitchen. This video is made in collaboration with Meat and Livestock Australia. Look for the MLA quality seal for assurance on all Australian meat. Today I'll show you how to cook a tenderloin of lamb from Top Paddock. Top Paddock lambs are all grass fed from southern Australia and they're raised naturally with no added hormones and are free of antibiotics. They're also free range which gives a very unique flavor. First, preheat your oven to 250 degrees Celsius, which is 450 degrees Fahrenheit. Place the rack in the middle of your oven. Then, take a saute pan, put it on high heat, or medium high heat, really. We need to season these, so take your salt and pepper, just salt and pepper all the sides. Same with the pepper. Now, I'm just going to lightly film, very lightly, because we're going to finish these with butter. Swirl the butter around, or the oil around, come up to temperature, right into the hot saute pan. Not going to take very long. Flip them over, do the same thing on the other side, tad bit of butter. Take one of my favorite herbs, which is Herbs de Provence. Just put a little bit in. And begin to just baste the surface with that butter. Let that cook for just a second. In the meantime, we're going to take some mirepoix and put it onto our baking dish. Some onions, some carrots and celery. Then we'll go ahead and move these first ones right over onto the mirepoix. And do exactly the same thing again. You want to space this out good. You don't want things to be touching. Now take some lamb stock. If you don't have lamb stock, you can always use chicken stock. But lamb is just so much better. And fill your level about halfway up. Then take some orange juice and add that in also. About 100 ml. Don't need a whole lot. All right, then this goes into the oven. Now we take, we've had about 10 minutes in the oven and it's time to just go ahead and remove. Taking care, cause this is very hot. We'll remove and put over onto our cutting board. Cover with foil and let that rest. We've pulled this when the internal temperature was about 58 degrees and the meat's been allowed to rest. I, I took the liquid out and just ran it through a chinois, and that's what we have here. Now, to this, I'm gonna take some cranberry juice, bring it up to a simmer, and I have a slurry that I made with um, some cornstarch and the stock. So as soon as that runs up to a simmer, it'll thicken right up. And to this, I'm just going to add, like I did before, I've got some uh, brunoise of radish. And I've also got some brunoise of carrot. Make it nice and colorful. I'm going to add just a touch of Dijon mustard. And you'll see that this will start to thicken up just as soon as it comes to a simmer. Need just a little bit more slurry. I'm not looking for a thick sauce. I just want something that's just barely not back. And it's to the simmer. I'm just going to kill my heat and let it set. Then 
with the meat. Just going to cut it at a bias and serve it family style. I'll take some of the sauce, put it right onto the plate. And then add the meats. And finally, add a little bit of sauce on the top, and there you have it. Thank you very much for watching. Remember to check the Australian Quality Seal of MLA. Please subscribe to our channel to see more of our cooking videos. Have a great day.